I heard from many was it's a discomfort, it's an uncomfortable feeling. Somebody said, well, something like it's a feeling of anxiety that comes in. It's a mental, what was the word you said? Agitation. Agitation of the mind. Fantastic. I think these are very good definitions. Uh, what we're trying to show from all the definitions, when we have a normal state, we all have a normal state. Stress is taking us out of that normal state. Agree? It's, so whenever there's a discomfort, it takes you away from that normal state. And that's what stress really is, that's how we define stress. I've put a little bit of definition over here. I say stress is a form of pain, discomfort, pain, anxiety, that comes to tell me that there is something which I need to change. It could be changing my expectations, it would change the way I look at things, it could be changing perspectives, it could be changing probably the environment that I'm in, it could be changing uh, so many things I can possibly do. But it has a message for me. And so don't ignore it. If you have stress that comes to you, it's a message. There's a kind of pain that comes to you. Watch it and say, okay, what's this? What do I have to do in this situation? What is this really asking, demanding of me right now? And then when you start looking and focusing on that place, you start seeing that you're, if you take some action, the stress reduces. If you don't take action, you're going to continue staying stressful. If you ignore it, it's not going to help you much. You might just say, okay, let me just go play a game and come back and I'll feel okay. You go game and come back, you will feel okay for some time. But then again, if you've not resolved that issue that causes you stress, you're going to feel stressed again. It's very important for us to take note of the stress and see what is that I need to change rather than just ignore it or simply say, well, that's, that's a part of it. I got to know from some of you what causes you stress. Um, anything else besides a few that we heard in terms of expectation not being met or the gap between what you expect versus what is actually reality? Anything else that causes stress at home? Do we have stress at home or it's only in the office? <laughs> Dangerous we usually, usually we have a lot of stress at work, so we go home and we feel much better, right? Yes. It feels better. Lack of lack of control. When you don't have control, definitely some of them will be saying lack to control. relax. They may be going office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yes. So it's interesting. Some of you are going to the office because you feel that's why you go and relax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indecisiveness leads to indecisiveness. Somebody who's not able to make a decision, postponing every time. Somebody mentioned procrastination as well. So these are some things that cause stress. Anything else that causes you stress? Think about yourself. And this is very important for me to understand what causes you stress. So just think for a minute what causes me stress? Missing a terrible boss. Facing a terrible boss. Yeah. Yes. Possible, and I'm sure the terrible boss will say facing a terrible employee. Happens <laughs> <laughs> both ways. So they speak about usually at, at the workplace, at, at home, these are certain things. Separations and families are very stressful as well. And then at, 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 at the workplace, they speak about, yes, like you said, a very difficult boss, be very stressful, difficult employees, uh, lots of noisy environment, colleagues who don't cooperate with you. Sometimes being overqualified for a job or being underqualified for a job, both of them can actually be stressful. But these are actually triggers of stress. They're not really the cause of stress. And I want to show you what is the real cause of stress. But before that, I want to ask you, with all these aspects that I mentioned to you, what do you think is common amongst all these that they cause stress to us? What's common among all these things? One is thinking, good, very nice. What else is common in all these things? What are the common factors about Moving a house, about separation of family, about being promoted. Change, change, change. Well done. Change. Change is the most common factor that you would see which triggers stress. Doesn't cause stress, <laughs> triggers stress. Because two people can have the same nasty boss, right? The same nasty boss, two people, he can speak the same way to both of them. And one person says, Oh, there's a lesson to be learned from here. Or this person always behaves like this is nothing really harmful. That's his character, that's the way he behaves. The other person will go, how dare he does this to me? And he can really be stressed and worked out. I'm not going to work with this person anymore. Have you seen that? Yes. And two people can have the same environment, the same trigger, but they do not 
respond in the same way. So what do you do? Nice. So somebody work out, somebody would go for a walk. Anything else? Pray, pray. Someone does meditation. Pray, pray. Breathing techniques. Go to the nearest bar. Go to the nearest bar and drink. Okay, that's... You pray. Very nice. You see the spectrum? Okay, good. Interesting. Then, what else? Yoga. You yoga. That's it. Talk to someone and give them all the stress. That's a nice technique. <laughs> Accepting as it is. Nice one. Accepting as it is. Good. Anyone at the back? Well, the back people have no stress. Sorry? Limiting my expectations. So making sure that I cheat myself and don't know my expectations. Okay, good.